Alex here with an event video on Sam Toll versus Lance Gilman, a case involving an ongoing conflict between an irreverent online publisher and a powerful developer. The story is characterized as a complicated tale fueled by the heated public feuds and factions that have existed in Virginia City since the discovery of the Comstock Lode by the Nevada Independent in what started as a confrontation by Sam Toll of Gilman's residency and campaign for county commissioner. Sam Toll made a mockery of Lance Gilman's claims that he lived in a mobile home behind the Mustang Ranch brothel, accusing him of perjury motivated by his desire to run and ultimately win a seat on the Story County Commission. Lance Gilman sued, arguing defamation of his character, asserting Sam Toll was not a journalist and demanding through the discovery process a disclosure of the identities of his sources. District Court Judge James Wilson agreed, ruling online journalists must reveal their sources as they are not protected by the Media Shield Law. Richard Carpel, executive director of the Nevada Press Association, remarked that the decision didn't make a whole lot of sense given all of the newspapers recognized by the association practice online journalism, citing prior rulings extending press privilege beyond institutional reporters. Patrick File, an assistant professor of media law at UNR, also said the ruling was inconsistent with the spirit of the Shield Law, raising significant concerns of the chilling effect it may have on online journalism. Sam Toll ultimately defied efforts to force him to disclose his sources, filing a petition for writ of mandamus with the Supreme Court of Nevada, asking them to intervene. And intervene they did, the Supreme Court unanimously expanding press shield protections to online journalists and remanding the matter back to District Judge James Wilson, instructing him to conduct additional analysis in line with their opinion. On remand, Lance Gilman's entire case was thrown out, a dismissal and $190,000 in attorney fee awards that is now also pending review by the Supreme Court of Nevada. But it's not over. After his anti-slap victory, Sam Toll filed a lesser-known slapback lawsuit, putting Lance Gilman on the defensive as he seeks additional compensatory and punitive damages against what his attorney called quote, a wealthy politician, a businessman, and admitted public figure who sued a journalist for writing things about him that he didn't like, unquote. Lance Gilman responded to the lawsuit, denying allegations that he, among other things, intentionally inflicted emotional distress or acted with malice. As the subsequent lawsuit was underway, Sam Toll confronted Lance Gilman for failing to respond to discovery requests with District Court Judge James Wilson ordering Lance Gilman to appear and show cause why he should not be held in contempt of court. In an opposition and later at the hearing itself, Lance Gilman's attorney Gus Plangus threw himself under the bus, admitting to malfeasance and asking the court to impose sanctions not against his client, but rather against himself, a request that Judge Wilson orally granted. District Court Judge James Wilson has allowed electronic coverage of the aforementioned hearing, which we will publish shortly. Sam Toll is represented by Luke Busby. Lance Gilman is represented by Gus Langus. We'll continue to monitor the case for any upcoming hearings. You can also visit www.rnevadajudges.com to keep up to date with our coverage schedule. As with our previous videos, feel free to post any questions you have down in the comments below, or you can send us an email at admin at rnevadajudges.com. The court has a few comments before we begin. We are on the record in the matter, case D-505. You guys either agree or I order.
I don't hear anyone saying she can't order a change of custody if she follows the right procedure. You're going to convince me to hold your client in contempt. Raise your right hands, face the court clerk to be sworn. Ladies and gentlemen, it's big and all the time.